Amy, thank you. We are now just days away from being able to, uh, well, get pulled over if you're texting on your phone while you're behind the wheel. That's a no-no. That ban goes into effect July the 1st. That's Monday. We're joined now by Lieutenant Kim Montes with the Florida Highway Patrol, a favorite here at Fox 35. Good morning. Known you for years. Good to have you here. Thanks. All right. So uh, next Monday, it goes into effect, but that doesn't mean you're going to start getting tickets on this, right? So the law takes effect to be get a, a first a primary offense versus a secondary offense, and that takes effect on Monday. Yeah. Now, agencies can choose to issue a ticket to somebody on J July 1st. Okay. Now, the FHP has taken the stance we're going to do a six month period of warnings. Um, but that component of the law of the texting and driving, you can be stopped, you can be ticketed if an agency chooses to do so. Isn't there a difference between, like, if you, if you see somebody maybe on the highway, or the difference is a school zone or a work zone? That, that's, that's more of an area where you're focusing on, right? So here's the second component of the law that was okay. just passed. October 1st of this year, the ban goes into place where you cannot hold a cell phone in your hand uh -huh. if you are in a work zone with workers present or a school zone. That's a primary offense. It's a moving violation. There will be warnings given between October 1st and January 1st by all agencies, but come January 1st, you will receive a moving violation with three points. Kim, talk to me about this because it, it used to be back in the day when I, when I was first driving, you know, you didn't have cell phones and so forth. Right. But you would you'd be on the lookout for a, a, a marked car. Right. But right now, you will be able to look inside and watch people type it on their phones because they're not looking up and seeing you. You know, this law was passed in 2013, so law enforcement's already been dealing with texting and driving for several years now. And you're exactly right. We pull up next to a car and people are so focused on their phone right. they don't that they see don't you. see us right next to them in a marked <laughs> patrol car. So people say, how can you enforce this law? Yes, that's the big thing. You know, law enforcement's trained to watch somebody typing into a device for an extended period of time. There are exemptions. If you're using a navigation device, yeah. if you are using Waze, if you're getting um, alerts on traffic or weather, that is our exemptions. We want people to focus on their driving because so many crashes happen because of distracted driving and that phone. We've got to do something to, to make that better. So let me understand. Likely you're not going to ticket someone who is maybe using their phone, at least not right now. But if they're involved in a crash and you're, you have a, a well, reasonable assumption that they were texting at the time, that's where it's going to come into play. So law enforcement cannot ask you for your phone. If we, if I can do a traffic stop, I cannot say, give me your phone so I can look at it. Yeah, you'd need a warrant, wouldn't you? Yeah. You would need a warrant. And the only time the law provides law enforcement to do that is if there's a crash with injury or death. Okay. We'd have to get a warrant to go after the, the cell phone data. Um, so basically, we want people to understand you can be stopped if you're observed typing to any wireless device. Typing. And that's what law enforcement is going to be looking for. Um, on, uh, as far as the October 1st law, if you are holding a handheld device, uh, whether you're on the phone, whether you're typing into it in an active work zone, a school zone, then you will be stopped and you can will get a warning until January 1st. And then come January 1st, it's a moving violation with three points. Are you applauding this? Because I, I know as, just as a driver, it drives me crazy to see people, you know, the, the light changes, nobody goes because they're on their phones. I see people moving over into my lane and they're, oh, sorry about that. Yeah. It, you must be thrilled that this is, is here because you must see it all the time. You know, law enforcement, when the law took effect in 2013, it was a great start, uh -huh. uh, but it did make us difficult to enforce a lot of it. Right. This is another step in the right direction so that we now, especially in those, those, those areas where it's so critical, you're around children, you yeah, should yeah. not be on a phone at Absolutely, all. Yeah. Um, and so law enforcement is actually happy we're going to see how this law goes we don't want people stealthing it you know holding their phone yeah, down yeah, right. we're going to be looking for that and again remember the whole point of this law is to reduce crashes because we know that crashes happen out there because people are on their phone kim always great to see you thanks thanks for being here all right